First of all, congratulations. Welcome to the New York Mets. You are, aside from being an anticipated teammate, you've made the rounds as a native New Yorker. Why choose the Mets over all the other teams that wanted you? I've definitely hit all boroughs. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the Mets, uh, it just, it kind of worked out. Beltran becoming the manager, him kind of throwing my name and, and to the management, just keep over and over. In the off season, I know I had a couple dinners with the Beltrans and, and they definitely uh, were pushing my name towards management. And I think talking to some of the players, talking to Brody uh, right before Christmas and his presentation on the team, I think just everything kind of like just worked out perfect. It was almost like it was meant to be. Yeah, definitely. What was your family's reaction? when you they were, told them you were coming to a different borough. <laughs> they were extremely excited I was staying home. Uh, you know, obviously going into off season you, and being a free agent, you just never know. And me playing in New York all these years and, and now being able to stay in New York, I, I think they were extremely excited and happy about it. Yeah, and so are we, by the way. Thank you, thank you. What can the fans expect from you this season? Obviously, a guy that loves to win. I know the, the team we have capable of and, and I enjoy winning and um, I'm going to try to be the best version of myself to do that, to help the team. What will be the biggest difference for you? What are you anticipating uh, pitching in the NL now? Giving us some thought, uh, we have a great division. Um, it kind of reminds me uh, when I played with, with the Yankees. Toronto had Bautista and Donaldson and Carnacion. And Boston always had a great lineup. The AL East, I feel like, you know, had a lot of great teams at that point, and now coming here to the NL East, the Phillies have a great team, Braves, uh, Washington just won. So the competition is obviously great, and I feel like competition brings the best out of me, and I'm excited. Yeah, competition definitely helps, I think, the ball club, especially the locker room. Here we are. I wonder if there is a particular Mets player that you watched before you became a Met. Um, that you admired or you thought, hmm, I'd like to work with him one day. Definitely enjoyed watching Alonzo last year and, and what he was able to do. Uh, kind of reminded me of Judge when he was a rookie, so, you know, definitely excited to meet him. But just watching the groom take the ball every five days and, and what he's been able to do these last couple of years. I've been in an All-Star game with him a few years back, so I got to see him a little bit there, but just watching him every five days, I think I'm gonna be a little spoiled. So <laughs> As we I'm all excited, are. I'm right. excited about that. Yeah. Tell me about your, since you were a born and bred New Yorker, your earliest memories watching the Subway Series before you got to the majors. The 2000 World Series is something that I always remember. Uh, you know, watching the Yankees and Mets, obviously. And I've enjoyed watching a lot of Mets players when I was younger. Pedro Martinez when he was here, Eduardo Alfonso, Ray Ordonez, some of those guys, Cliff Floyd. I mean, I, I definitely enjoy watching. I came to Shea Stadium and watched games as well. So, you know, I'm excited to put this uniform on and kind of build a new fan base. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, played in New York with the Yankees for a while, so now I'm excited to be here and, and, and build a fan base here in Queens. And you're joined by Robinson Cano, who, who did the same. What were some of the messages he's given you? I think he was just excited about the, the opportunity this team has. You know, obviously spoke very high of, of Brody and, and, the, and the management. Uh, you know, I'm excited to be a part of it. As one half of your PA announcers, may I ask what your walk-up song is gonna be? Uh, I haven't <laughs> given it too much thought, but uh, I might have to go with, with somebody like, you know, uh, 50 Cent's, uh, maybe okay. some Nas. So something hip-hop. Keep, keep something from Queens. <laughs> well done. You know, yeah. you know your new audience. Exactly. I wonder, do you have something that you do before each game? Is there a routine you have, a snack you have to eat or don't want to eat? Well, Afro I used, uh, No, no. <laughs> Food-wise, I can eat. A little bit of everything. I'm mm -hmm. not picky with that, uh, but I, I, I always pitch with sugar-free gum. Really? So that's something that I always do. So the double bubble that we keep in the dugout, or you guys definitely mm -hmm. keep it in the dugout. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, sugar -free. if not, I'll probably lose my mind a little bit. Guys, do we have sugar-free? Okay, we got it for you. Perfect. perfect. <laughs> so that anything else? Nothing else. I mean, I'll drink a coffee right in about the third or fourth inning. Yeah. No coffee in the off season, just during the season. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. As a native New Yorker, what's your favorite uh, 
New York City restaurants, you have one? I do. Uh, I enjoy going to Carbone. It's an Italian restaurant. In the, yeah, sure. Yes, yes. We're, we're really, uh, really good food. So I, I try to go there in the off season at least a couple times. I've interviewed Carlos when he first joined the club, uh, Beltran, and I asked him the same question. Um, what does it mean to be Latino and be a baseball player for the Mets? I think uh, for me, it's it's an honor, uh, and, and you know, obviously, uh, we we got a great fan base here in Queens, and you know, I think we have a lot of Latino fans. And for me, I'm, I'm a big community guy, or you know, when it comes to Latino, I'm very proud. So for me to be able to play and show them how uh, thankful I am of them and, and supporting us, uh, you know, I always enjoy that. Congratulations thank again. You. And thank thank you. you. Appreciate it.